Hey there, crew. Um, ha ha ha, big bikes. Yeah, so I'm at Good Moto uh, North Road Dumaguete, which is uh, a Kawasaki, Benelli, Kimco dealer. They've got some pretty big, like uh, 1200cc Kawasaki Ninjas and stuff here. But I've just bought a brand new Versus, a 650cc all-road touring bike. I think it's the most appropriate vehicle for the conditions here, considering the roads tend to be really bumpy or occasionally missing. <laughs> Something that's got crown clearance. Yeah. So um, this is the, the, the crew, the, the people at Good Moto who've been helping me go through the, the kind of lengthy registration. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, and we're just having a bit of a, a pizza, pizza party, party to celebrate yeah. the, the purchase. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been 19 years since I last, last bought a brand new motorbike. <laughs> yeah. So show, um, yeah, show through to the the workroom. So this is this is the beauty. Still getting the battery charged and a few of the last minute checks done. It's uh, it's neat that even though it's got the LCD display, it's still got the old analog taco as well. I love that stuff. Yeah, and it started with a thunderstorm just before seven o'clock this morning. Really, really wet, but. Taking a motorbike back means I couldn't take the motorbike, uh, a scooter here. I had to walk through the rain to get to the main road of Valencia. And then the, all the, tr the, the tr public transport and stuff were all full and I was trying to hitchhike. <laughs> and luckily um, a really nice um, Filipino family with a car gave me a lift into town and took me into the motorbike shop. Um, just out of the kindness of their hearts, and admittedly the guy did know where it is because he'd ordered a Kawasaki Z900 from here. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. It just means I have to put the GoPro on my helmet now so I can make cool videos of the countryside. And like, we'll probably go back to uh, Mawalbawal, that area, next week. And some of the, the scenery, the road, the villages, the forest, the rivers, the coast, it's all really beautiful and I'll be able to show you that later, all right? Well, I've uh, put 45 kilometers on the Odo, so it reads 45. <laughs> and I gotta say, after riding it around uh, in the city and then out to some different towns on the, on the bigger roads and stuff, it's great. I think this is, like, you, you could almost say the perfect kind of uh, bigger bike for a country like the Philippines because it's um, very sort of sure-footed and kind of easy to use and easy to handle in traffic. Um, it's very comfortable on the bumps. I mean, you still feel most of the bumps, but they just feel little and gentle instead of bone and teeth jarring. And the other thing is um, the power, right? So whereas the, the scooters and things, you need a big gap to overtake the slow truck or convoy of cars that are you know stuck behind a little tricycle on this thing you just need a little gap and whoosh off you go so uh, it's, um, it only makes what about 70 horsepower but that's a lot of horsepower for a two-wheeler in a developing country like the Philippines yeah, and I love it yeah gonna have some great adventures on this girl mm. Also checked out a, a shop that sells, you know, the motorbike safety boots and jackets and all that sort of stuff. The prices are a bit better than Australia, maybe half the price. So shouldn't break the bank to, you know, be able to get some stuff. But for myself, I'm still waiting on my good gear that I bought in Australia to get shipped here. Yeah. Catch you on the road. <laughs>